As you know, last week, the immigration debate in America was reignited once again by Ron DeSantis, Florida governor and the dad of your school bully. You see, <laughs> for months now, Republican governors in Arizona and Texas have been trying to draw attention to border security by busing migrants to places like New York and Chicago. But DeSantis took things up a notch by hiring a plane to take 48 Venezuelan migrants from Texas and drop them off in Martha's Vineyard. And if DeSantis was looking for attention, well, he definitely got it. Some Democratic lawmakers want the Justice Department to open an investigation after 50 Venezuelan migrants were flown to Martha's Vineyard last week. This morning, a Texas sheriff launching a criminal investigation against Florida Governor Ron DeSantis. Massachusetts authorities want a federal human trafficking probe into what it calls inhumane acts by DeSantis and others. They were told there was a surprise present for them and that there would be jobs and housing awaiting for them when they arrived. This was obviously a sadistic lie. They were lured by false pretenses and then transported across state lines. That is enough evidence to open a criminal investigation for the federal crime of kidnapping by inveiglement. Kidnapping by inveiglement? <laughs> I swear to God, Republicans are gonna give me a law degree by the time this shit is over, because <laughs> we keep learning about new things. Inveiglement? But yeah, basically, DeSantis tried to pull a stunt that may have turned into an actual crime. But it doesn't surprise me. It doesn't surprise me that Ron DeSantis is doing this. He looks kind of like a human trafficker. <laughs> no, no, for real. Look at him. Just look at him. Look at him. Tell me. <laughs> Tell me that's not the pose of a man who's smuggling a group of Venezuelans up his butt. <laughs> look at that guy. Ah, I'm gonna explode. So, to many, uh, to many Democrats, especially, DeSantis is basically just a kidnapper in a frumpy suit. But what's interesting is, over in MAGA world, DeSantis has been getting a hero's welcome. This weekend in Kansas, Florida Governor Ron DeSantis received a standing ovation from Republican voters when he talked about the southern border. As stunts go, this has been a, a, an incredibly brilliant stunt. Obviously a boss move by DeSantis. I think this is brilliant. They need to do more. Tomorrow, Martha's Vineyard needs 100. The next day, they need 200. The next day, they need 1,000. Martha's Vineyard lost their mind. Ron DeSantis, he's playing chess here. Democrats and our allies in the media, they're playing checkers. The hypocrisy is now out in the open. This is amazing. This is checkmate. Ooh, checkmate. <laughs> yeah. I like how Republicans are like, no, no, we're not using immigrants as pawns, but also checkmate. <laughs> as you can see, conservatives, they're just jizzing their pants over this thing. It was brilliant. A boss move. Yes, queen. <laughs> Martha's Vineyard lost their mind. And by the way, did it really? Did it? Did Martha's Vineyard lose its mind? 50 migrants showed up out of nowhere, and the people of Martha's Vineyard gave them food and shelter and then exchanged hugs with them as they boarded buses to leave. Now, I know Ted Cruz has never been hugged before, so he may have thought that they were trying to strangle each other, but that doesn't look like people losing their minds to me. And this really shows you how America is living in two completely separate realities right now. In the democratic world, this was a heartless and illegal stunt. In MAGA world, this was the most brilliant thing anyone's done since Jesus invented the AR-15. <laughs> yeah, Democrats say Martha's Vineyard proved DeSantis wrong by welcoming the migrants with open arms. MAGA world says they proved DeSantis right by shipping the migrants off to a military base after two days. It's pretty wild. I mean, at this point, America's basically the multiverse. There's one universe where DeSantis is a god, and simultaneously another universe where he's headed to prison and has those hot dogs for fingers. <laughs> But believe it or not, believe it or not, there is actually one conservative who is upset with DeSantis. And you'll never guess who it is. Rolling Stone reports that Trump is upset about DeSantis' decision to fly nearly 50 migrants from Texas to Martha's Vineyard last week, not because he thinks it was a depraved and irresponsible and inhumane practice to target asylum seekers. No, Trump is angry because it was his idea first. According to the story, the former president, quote, vented that DeSantis's latest stunt was yet another one of my ideas that the governor allegedly stole from Trump. Oh, man, poor Donald Trump. <laughs> He's just sitting at home like, you stole my idea. And by the way, stealing stuff is also my idea. Read the news. <laughs> Read it in week. My idea.
But you know what's really telling here is that, in a way, Trump has a point, right? He is the guy who came up with the idea of turning all politics into a series of stunts. That is what he did. The Muslim ban, build the wall, that shit didn't solve anything, but it got the people going. And now pulling stunts has become the driving force of the Republican Party. But Trump, he's stuck watching it on the sidelines. Yeah. And I feel bad for you, Mr. Trump. But the fact is, Ron DeSantis, you see what he's doing? He's slowly becoming the Republican Party now, stealing your tricks, making it his own. And so you better get, you get used to this. You better get used to being smuggled in his butthole for the ride. <laughs>